G'day, Lockie here. So yesterday we took a look at one of two new tools that the Heptio folks released, uh, some open source tools for Kubernetes. That was Arc. Today I'm going to take a look at the other, which is Sonobui, or as we would say in Australia, Sonoboy. Uh, I'm really excited about this. I haven't actually touched it, so I thought it would be fun to kind of do a live walkthrough of it um, and see how we go. But I'm really excited about this particular project because it does, um, as it says here on the screen, uh, conformance and diagnostics of a running Kubernetes cluster in a non-destructive manner. So uh, you, one of the problems out there in the field is that not all Kubernetes clusters are created equal, and it's great to be able to have a way to run conformance tests, uh, to fingerprint a cluster, to get some diagnostics out of a cluster that's running, um, and in doing so, not actually blow the cluster up. I think one other piece of this that's really interesting is there's a um, extensible plugins feature as well, so that you can write your own collection uh, plugins and get what you want out of this tool, which I think is fantastic. So let's go ahead, let's um, go through this. Uh, so the only bit I have done uh, is actually check out the uh, the repository here. So let's go ahead and run this, and let's take a look at what I'm working with here, kubectl version. Okay, so I have a 172 cluster running. Uh, I think it has a dependency on 1.7, not um, confirmed yet, but let's just run it against that. And it's actually the same cluster that I have uh, Arc still running on, so we might be able to see something interesting there. So all I'm going to do is run and apply. Let's take a look at what we got here, a namespace, service account, cluster role and role binding, a uh, couple of config maps, a pod and a service. What's it tell us to do then? Okay, so go grab the pods on a label in that namespace called Heptio Sonobui, and I missed the K, there we go. Okay, so it's running, fantastic. It's so far so good. Let's go and take a look at the logs of what it's actually doing. Okay, so let's take a look. Loading some plugins. Okay, so we're gonna go grab all the pod logs from all the namespaces. So we're evaluating all the namespaces, um, and now we're in blocking. What else have we got here? So E to E tests, collecting the results. Okay, so I think I saw here that is now non-blocking, so it's sitting there, we're ready to go. And this looks like it copies the results back to dot results. Okay, so far too easy. All right, so we should have a results directory now. We sure do. Okay, so let's just unzip that tarball that we have. CD results and tar XVF. Okay, so we'll pull this apart and let me just bring this up in an IDE. See what we're working with here. Okay, so I haven't actually looked at this. Okay, so I have one ad, uh, agent, one master. That is correct. Let's take a look at this and I'll pretty that up. Fantastic. Okay, so we've got some diff, uh, some information about the configuration of this agent. Max pods, oh, this is fantastic. We've got some labels, we can see this and programmatically work with it, oh, fantastic. Health C, what's that give us? Status 200, so that means we're all good there. Let's take a look at these plugin E to E, there's a results test for the E to E, um, and some system D logs, ooh, nice. Okay, so you can actually see System D, this has actually gone through and grabbed all the log files here. So what do we got here? Yep, kubelet logs, fantastic. That has made that far too easy to work with. Resources, okay, we have non-NS, which must be not namespace specific resources. Okay, and we've got a big blob there. Okay, some role bindings. I can make these look pretty. There we go. Cluster roles and role bindings, fantastic. So I have a full assessment of everything that's running on this cluster and then namespace specific broken down by namespace. Uh, this is the Nginx that I was running yesterday. Make this pretty. Here's my deployment. Wow, this is fantastic. A few other pieces, there's a config file. What do we got in this? The resources are probably, this is exactly what uh, Sonobui is reading. Um, all its config of how to deploy and, and run the, the tests and diagnostics. Server version, 
We're on 172. Fantastic. So just at a glance here, I have just a wealth of knowledge and information. Let's go and have a look at this results.tar.gz under the E2E. Um, where was that? Where did that live? Plugins under plugins. Plugins, E2E, and we'll tar, untar that. E2E log, junit.xml. Okay, so it looks like we've got some conformance tests, tests here. Okay, that have passed. JUnit set of tests that we're running. Okay, so it's all done under JUnit. Fantastic. So, just at a first glance, I have in, in less than a minute or two grabbed a full fingerprint of my running Kubernetes cluster. I can pull apart all that information and actually write some tools around making decisions on what that information has given me. And if you've ever tried to do this before, it can be extremely cumbersome and difficult. So the fact that the uh, Sonobuoy makes it so easy means that I have a way to reliably get information off my cluster and start making informed decisions about it. I could put this in the end of a CI. Um, I could run it daily. I could uh, use it for conformance of my clusters to make sure they stay in a consistent state. So hats off again to the Heptio folks. This is a great tool. I look forward to digging in a little bit more. And thanks for joining me for uh, kind of getting in the weeds there. Cheers. Bye.